Hi, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a reading vlog of Powerless by Lauren Roberts. This is a YA fantasy book and everyone on TikTok and my friends have been raving on about it. So of course, when I received it, I was very kindly gifted this book by one of my followers. I had to read it. So I've actually read it and annotated it. And this is one of the first times I've ever annotated a book. And I think annotating fantasy book is where it is at. I absolutely loved it. And I've already read this book, as you can probably tell. But I just devoured it. It was absolutely amazing. So to be able to see what I've been doing and what I've been getting up to in this book, carry on with this video because it was a roller coaster of emotions and it was absolutely brilliant. Um I didn't get very many clips of me talking just because obviously with work and all of that jazz it's kind of difficult but I hope you like this video if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below what books you want me to do reading vlogs of what videos you want from me like please do let me know because I want to start doing more social media content for you guys but I don't know what you guys want so remember to tell me and then I can do that for you because I've got a few ideas but I don't know if it's going to be a vibe for you guys so do let me know and I hope you enjoyed this video taking you in this moment come get close like your name read your aura you want more of all this love you'll be your name have a snack to read whilst reading your books what would it be i've currently got reese's miniature peanut butter cups and in here there's milk and white chocolate sounds delicious i am currently reading powerless as you know and i am annotating it so obviously i will show you the annotates but i'm about eight chapters in so far and i don't know how to feel like i am reading trying to read a um fantasy book every single um, month just one every single month and powerless is mine and i really want the audio book of it to read alongside because i'm a bit like i'm not struggling but i'm not motivated so i just think like having an audio book would really help but it's okay i'm enjoying it um to say i'm not the biggest fan of fantasy books i'm <sighs> I'm not forcing myself to read it, just everyone's been saying how amazing it is and I'm like right okay I need to read it because however amazing it is, like literally here you can see this is my fantasy shelf, that right there is my fantasy shelf and I have a lot to say that I'm not the biggest fantasy reader to say but majority of my books are obviously romance, I just want to try and dive in so I'm reading on my kindle, I'm also reading it physically and I also want the audiobook but I don't have the audiobook and I don't know where to find it so that's a bit of a struggle just a little bit um but yeah chapter eight and i'm enjoying it so far um i think i've just been reading quite short books recently which has just been meaning that um for me it seems quite long but in actual fact it probably isn't it's about 500 pages i'm just hoping i can read it this mm, this week i can read it in a week so that when I go away on holiday, I'm not still reading it. I can read other books because that's because I know when I'm going skiing, I won't be reading it as much. I'm going to try and read every single night, but I know it's it's not a holiday where you can just sit and read. It's one of those holidays where you're doing stuff. I'm going to be skiing every single week, every single day. I can read on my lunch break. I can read in certain situations, but realistically, I'm not going to be reading as much. So um i would like to read more <laughs> um but we can hope and we can pray that i can get reading currently though i'm addicted to uh, girl more girls and that's what i'm doing right now i'm just sat watching girl more girls um and then i'm going to read two more chapters once i get to the third episode or episode of girl more girls if you've watched girl more girls i was not motivated i hit season four 
the motivation kicked in. The motivation really did kick in to watch this. But anywho, I'm gonna finish off watching Girl My Girls. I'm gonna start reading the book and I'll show you a few of my annotations I have made. Um, I don't really know what to annotate. I'm just kind of annotating what I feel like annotating. And I guess that's what you do. So yeah, also by the way, if you guys want to annotate and you want a good pen to do it, sorry, all my things are attached. Mild liners. Don't think you can see that very well, but mild liners. I use this Tobolo highlighter because I thought that's a highlighter that will work. And I use that in Wildfire, um, which the reading vlog is on here. I will link it for you guys. Bled through the pages. So everyone was saying to me, next time, try a mild liner. And I had this purple mild liner, this one, and it was a perfect shade. And I used the, I have this shade in the, highlighter form and the brush form and i thought i'll use the brush form because i prefer that to a highlighter where i can have a softer mac with it and i can make thinner lines with it i don't know i just prefer a brush tip myself does not bleed through it doesn't bleed through at all this might be the start of tommy's annotation addiction because i'm really enjoying it however however I think I'm not going to be an annotation girly just because I like the fact that if I finish a book and it is not a five star read, I can sell it afterwards. Like powerless, I don't want to sell because it's really aesthetically pleasing, but I like to have that ability to sell books if I want to and just annotating it means I can't. I know I could probably do like, I have the clear sticky notes to be able to annotate, but not like it won't be on the actual paper. But with that, you can't like highlight, like the highlighter doesn't work on it. So um, you have to underline and everything. And that's just not for me, that that life is just not for me. So um, yeah, we, uh, we may have to think about this, think about what to do. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna finish watching Girl More Girls and I'll speak to you guys in a bit.
Hi, it is Editing Tamway and I realise I never actually did an outro for this because I was away and I forgot. So I finished Powerless. I absolutely devoured it. It was a 4.75 stars for me. I loved it for a fantasy. That's a high rating for me. They normally are about three stars. So that's a really high rating. I love the aspect of like the Hunger Games and the politics involved. I do not like Hunger Games at all. It is one of my least favorite books I've ever tried to read. My whole journey of reading. And this had me hooked. It had a vibe of Hunger Games, but so much better. Like there's trails involved, but she's from the slums and the king's like, you're not gonna win. She is not one of the elites and you find out very early on what she actually is and it is just an incredible read i would highly recommend for people who are romance readers for people who are fantasy readers like any genre reader you will definitely enjoy this it is a ya there is tension they go from rivals to semi almost lovers to enemies like <laughs> as a romance reader i was like when's all this gonna happen and then at the end i was like okay right i'm gonna have to wait to the next book but i feel like it's gonna be this thing in the next book where he's trying to see what's going on and it's just gonna be chaos which is the next one is reckless it's coming out in july i am beyond excited and yeah i absolutely devoured this book it took me a week which for a fantasy book is not too bad for me i did absolutely enjoy this and i like I finished it like I need the next book 